just wanted to show you the little outside isn't it so cute i love the little light it just looks like a hotel out here I won't show too much because obviously i'll share the space but yeah super cute and then i'll bring you in <laughs> here's this little guy did you think i'd left yeah don't worry baby i'm back <laughs> good boy oh hiya hi beautiful first time on youtube huh <laughs> This is Noah, by the way. You'll be seeing lots of him. First up, I thought I'd just give you an overview of the flat, just so you can kind of see the space before I talk you through some bits. This is the kitchen area. And then, as you can see, there is loads of space. It's actually really, really spacious when you first walk in. Look at him sat so good. He's wondering, he's wondering what I'm doing. He's never seen me do this before. Get used to it, babes. And then we have some storage cupboards and yeah i'll talk you through all this in a second i'm just going to show you the basic overview first this is the living area and then as you can see there is a nice big balcony out there where i can sit and enjoy my coffee and then we have a communal garden um just down there as well which is so lovely for the dogs and then we have the divide and then this is the bedroom area. So obviously we've got my bed and some drawers and shelves and stuff. And then here you can see it from that kind of angle. So yeah, there is actually a lot of space. And I quite like how separate it feels. It feels like a really nice divide. We have lots more storage cupboards as well. And then through this door over here, we have my bathroom. So I'll just quickly show you that. I will show you a bit more of that in detail when we do a more detailed walkthrough, which we can do now. Okay, so I'll go back to the beginning now. This little key holder thing, I also sometimes put letters and stuff in here. This is from Amazon. By the way, I'm gonna try and link as much as I can below. I used to be really bad at that, so let's try and start off as we mean to go on. Um, I've got my Dyson cordless Hoover, which is an absolute godsend, I absolutely love it. So over in this corner, we have a table, which actually pulls out into a really big dining table, which is great for when I have friends over for dinner and stuff. Generally, I eat in front of the TV, <laughs> um, but yeah, if I've got people over and, and I like to, you know, set up a nice dinner table for everybody. I've got a nice plant and this candle and then I have my Decenio prints, which I've actually had for years. I think since I first did a collaboration with them. Something that I really, really love about this flat is the storage. There is so much storage space. So first of all, we have these cupboards, which this one is kind of boring it just has like my washer in and all my washing bits and then like toilet roll and stuff and then in this cupboard we actually have first of all i have a couple of these you'll see dotted around the flat i got these from amazon really handy just to you know hang all sorts on coats and bags and stuff these drawers down here are full of all this little guy's stuff that's why he's come over because he thinks he can have a treat i've actually got one in my pocket can you see it good boy spin Oh, you clever boy. <laughs> He's so good. This is actually an extra freezer because my freezer space is really small and I just needed extra, basically. So I bought this separate freezer. Then I've just got my air fryer and some Coke Zero. This is the kitchen area, as you can see. And for a studio flat, this is actually a really good size for a kitchen. It is you know it's big enough to share really so many cupboards i've got so much storage space the theme is black rose gold pink as you can see so i have my knife set and utensil set both from amazon i have these which were all from amazon i think and then i have my pink smeg kettle and toaster which i absolutely adore i've had these for years just a little tea towel i think i got this from primark actually and then this little tea towel holder is from amazon probably i love amazon amazon prime next day you just can't go wrong can you this is my baby my sage coffee machine i actually have had this about a year i think and i totally love it it's so so cool it was expensive but i mean if you love coffee then it's an investment really then we have the induction hob and my microwave which is probably from amazon i mean let's be real these definitely are <laughs> and then i've got all my cupboards i mean i would show you what's in them all i don't think you're really going to be that bothered about seeing that but obviously it's just you know plates and stuff like that um oh god 
This is shameful, how many mugs I have and how many Starbucks cups and stuff. So moving on to my living area. This was from Amazon. <laughs> oh my God, this is actually embarrassing. I'll just get it out of the way. So this TV unit and this coffee table were both from Amazon. They were really, really well priced. I absolutely love them. I actually haven't had these for very long. This rug actually came with a flat. So this flat could have come fully furnished, but I actually had quite a lot of furniture. So basically I kept a few bits. For example, the sofa, this was here. Isn't it such a stunning color? I would have never gone for this colour, I would have probably gone for grey or something, but I'm really glad that this was here because it just adds so much to the room, it makes it look so cool and yeah, as I say, if I'd have invested in a sofa, I probably wouldn't have gone for this colour, so I'm really happy that this was here. These cushions are mine, these are actually all from Very, they're quite old now and I might get some new cushions soon I'm not sure because I do still really quite like them they're just a little bit you know when they go like a bit bobbly and stuff but I do really really like them so maybe I can just I don't know I have washed them loads of times but I don't know oh my goodness how cute is my new MacBook case and phone case I got these from case defy of course hashtag influenced I love to have the fireplace video one from YouTube I think it's so calming and so zen I just love it trying to show you these prints without the glare of the lights but basically i love ariana grande if you didn't know she's like my favorite ever and i love her music i love her as a person i actually got these prints made by my friend jay she has a business called sad society press on etsy i'll link it below it's so cool i'll just show you the table again these were so well priced by the way i think this was around 50 pounds and this maybe about 60 and it's got this cupboard here in here i just put some nintendo switch stuff and uh games that kind of thing this little table i actually had made um in my old place and yeah i just thought it really fits in nicely with everything i will show you my balcony furniture because why not so i have my beautiful olive tree which i really love i just think it looks so cute and then this little set which i think was from argos really nice little set you can just see a little snippet of our garden down there which is great and then this big box <laughs> i just got this because i have so much stuff you know like tools and stuff like that boring stuff like that so i just got that for that reason we also have a rooftop uh, actually we have four rooftops at this building and i will definitely go up there and show you at some point i'm just showing you noah because it's so cute <laughs> noah come in good boy okay so this actually came with a flat i kept it because i thought it really added a lovely divide to the room and i couldn't really find anything that i liked better than it I, at first i wasn't too sure about the black but now i actually think it looks really cool so yeah i, I really like this and i have this tall plan on this little table as well because i think it also adds more of a divide this plant by the way it just keeps drooping and I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Like it's just not going too well for me. So if you have any tips on how to revive this plant, please let me know. <laughs> the pots are Oliver Bonus, Etsy, a lovely girl actually makes these. They're so pretty. And H&M Home. And I'll just show you my candles, which I've had for years, but they have similar ones on um, Anthropology now still. And then these coasters, you'll probably recognise these from previous tours if you've been here for about five years. Round here you can see I've got this lovely pink chair, which Noah's very kindly showing off for me. This was from Cult Furniture, I think that's the name of the website. And basically I have a few of these, but some of them are in the cupboards. And I got these for when I do actually have people round for dinner and stuff to put round the table. And then I just keep one out because I think it's really cute. This mirror did actually come with a flat. I really like it though, it's cool. It's got like a rose gold edging, so it fits in really nicely. And then on here, this side, I have a Bath and Body Works candle and this domino set. It actually was from Next. It really reminds me of my granddad. When he was alive, we used to always play dominoes and stuff as a kid. And I have my Crossley record player here. And then we have my bed. So I've had this bed for years. It's from made.com. I don't know if they still do it, but if they do, I will link it for you. The cushions were also made. Sorry, my bed looks a bit 
tatty. <laughs> It needs an iron and stuff, but I mean, yeah. And then this lovely soft throw was from Amazon. And then the little side table I actually had made a while ago from the same guy who made my other little table. The lamp is from Made, And then, oh, my new Nintendo Switch OLED down there. So cool. I'm loving Animal Crossing. If anybody wants to see Animal Crossing videos, do let me know because I'm obsessed. I absolutely love this little section of the flat. Hang on, let me just close this door because it's kind of killing the vibe. There we go. How cool does that look? I just think it looks so nice. Who do I think I am? I mean, it's hardly groundbreaking interior design, but anyway, I like it. This chest of drawers was actually from Argos. It's their habitat range that they have on Argos really good value for money they look so much more expensive than they actually were and then the shelves again i had these made but years ago on top of here i've got my neom diffuser which i love i got this for christmas last year for my parents they are expensive but it's a lovely lovely gift and i do genuinely use it pretty much every day so yeah i would recommend actually if you're looking for something you know you want to spend that bit more money this christmas on somebody is such a nice gift this is another Ari print as you can see and then i've got my marshall speaker and another plant with oliver bones pot these are my stackers jewelry boxes which i love they're so great you can basically add more layers on the more jewelry you get so hopefully one day it'll be like up here <laughs> jokes I always wear the same pieces of jewellery anyway. I need to actually be more adventurous. I've got a couple of Ariana Grande perfumes that I use most days. This little elephant, which was from the range. My mum bought me this. How cute is it? I love it. And my 100k subscriber plaque. <laughs> How nostalgic. In here, we have my sort of half wardrobe, half random stuff cupboard. And the great thing about these cupboards, I'll show you the other one as well, is they go up so high, so you can fit so much stuff up there. I've got my printer and makeup and uni stuff and all that. A few hair bits and a few gym bits. Yeah, I totally forgot to show you in this cupboard, which is next to these two big cupboards. So in here is, again, wardrobe space, shoes, this little thing I recently got from Oliver Bonus. It's quite cool, it's just got like, hair stuff in and that oh they're my bubbles must have moved them and then again loads of space up there i could fit so much more stuff up there and behind all this lot it goes back really deep so i've got loads of stuff in there as well oh i can't wait to wear this this is my new faux leather blazer from bershka stradivarius strad it's from strad as you guys can see for a studio flat, it is actually really spacious. And I'm not gonna lie, I looked at a one bed and the actual floor plan was smaller and it was way more expensive. In the bathroom, these towels, I actually have the big ones as well and the bath mat. These are all from Made, although I don't think they've got them in stock at the moment. Oh, I've got my little octi up there. It's just one of those things that I had to get one at the end of my bath i really love this just the whole vibe of it because i'm so i was so used to just having a little shower there even though i'm not a huge bath person it is nice to have the option got all my beauty products there that i use beauty products bath products i really do love that razor i do rate it and then we've got this lovely plant which I just love the vibe. Oh, hi. Why is he the cutest little thing in the world? This plant is thriving. It's my best plant I've ever had. I just think she looks gorgeous up there, just draping down. I don't actually know where this is from, but I'll link it below. It wasn't expensive. I love it. I think it really goes with the vibe of the room. And then these cupboards, I absolutely love. You can fit so much in there. I've got all sorts in there, but it's a right mess. So I'm not going to show you right now. 